Hello guys, kumusta kayo? Uh, ito ako, pag tinanong nyo, siyempre, mabuti naman ako. So, dumating na ba sa panahon sa inyong buhay na uh, yung lang iniwan na kayo ng inyong kaibigan? No? So, pag uh, na ano kayo? Anong tawag yun? FO. Alam nyo yung FO? Friendship over. So, minsan guys, kung may mga kaibigan kayo, uh, dahil sa sobrang close ninyo, may mga panahon na nag-aasaran kayo, ganyan. So, mayroon din kaibigan na, ano, dahil sa sobrang close ninyo, ano, yung talagang hindi ka matatakot na ano, kahit anong sabihin mo sa kanya, hindi ka natatakot na hingiin kung ano yung gusto mong hingiin sa kanya. So, ano yun guys? Uh, ngayon, yung pag-uusapan natin is about uh, intimacy. Pag sinabing intimacy, yung, yun, intimate uh, intimacy. So, the question is, how to develop intimate relationship with God? So, how to develop intimacy with God? So, Meron yung isang ano, isang pastor na um, American pastor siya, si John Wimber. Uh, ang laki ng influence niya guys um, sa maraming life ng tao. So, even sa ano, iba't ibang mga simbahan all around the world. No? Yun guys. So, sabi niya, Huh? na the ability to hear what God is saying to see what God is doing and to move in the realm of the miraculous comes as an individual develops the same intimacy with, with and independence upon the Father huh? as Jesus had diba? so uh, So, yung tanong is, how did Jesus do what He did? Hmm? Paano ba ginawa ng, ni Iso Kristo yung ginawa niya? Hmm? Paano niya ginawa yung nagawa niya? Ganun. Diba? So, yung isang tanong. So, yung sagot ay, the answer is found in His relationship with the Father. Hmm? How will we do the greater things than this? Hmm? which Jesus promised. No? Paano magawa yung mas malaki pa dito? No? Promise, yun yung promise ni Jesus in uh, John 14:12. So, by discovering the same relationship of intimacy, simplicity, and obedience. So, so God loves you with an intimacy that surpasses all your dreams. No? He wants you to have a close personal relationship with Him of intimacy, simplicity, and obedience. Hmm, obedience. So, this is an extraordinary honor and privilege. Moses, David, and of course, Jesus had an intimate relationship with God. Hmm. But how do you develop intimacy with God? Hmm. Isang tanong, how do you develop intimacy with God? So, there are three ways to develop intimacy with God. So, first is openness, vulnerability, and honesty. So, yan. So, nasa, di ba? Yung pag-aralan natin ngayon, eh, yung makikita siya sa Psalms 35 na uh, 11 to 18. So, Psalms 35, 11 to 18, basahin ko ha, sa malicious witness, witnesses testify against me. They accuse me of crimes I know nothing about. They repay me evil for good. So, yeah. I am sick with despair. Yet when they were ill, I grieved for them. I denied myself by fasting for them. 
but my prayers returned unanswered. I was sad as though I was sad as though they were my friends or family, as if I were grieving for my own mother. But they are glad now that I am in trouble. They gleefully, they gleefully join together against me. I am attacked by people I don't even know. They slander me constantly. They mock me and call my, me names. They snarl at me. So how long, O oh Lord, will you look on and do nothing? So, rescue me from their fears and attacks. <laughs> protect me. Uh, protect my life from these lions. Then I will thank you in front of the great assembly. I will praise you before all the people. Don't let my treasurous enemies rejoice over my deep defeat. Don't let those who hate me without cause gloat over my soul. So, yun guys, diba? Nabasa natin sa Psalms 35, 11 to 18. So, there were times when David was down. His soul felt empty in verse 12, diba? He was honest and open enough to talk about the challenges. So, there are challenges no? na na ano, dinaanan ni David. No? There are three, three challenges. First is, ano, first is opposition. Opposition. David faced great opposition from those who repaid Abel for good and attacked him. He also may face great opposition from those who repay Abel for good and attack you. In verse 12, 15, 15b. Verse 12 and verse 15b. So, they may slander or maliciously mock. The opposition does not, okay. The opposition does not only come through the world. It can even come from God's people. Grabe guys, no? Hindi pala mula lang sa, ano, sa, sa sanlibutan. Minsan, ang galing din sa mga God's people. No? Yung, sa, yung taas-taas ng tingin mo sa kanya. Pero, siya pa yung no? mag-uupos sa iyo. Ayan guys. So, next is, the second is unanswered prayer. There may be times when your prayers do not seem to be heard. So, may mga panahon na yun, may mga prayer ka na hindi hindi na sagot, hindi na hindi na rinig. So, ayun siya, yun yung nararamdaman mo, niwa. So, isabi pa niya sa verse 13 ni David, sabi niya, "My prayers return to me unanswered." Sabi, he says to God, no? Sinabihan niya ang Panginoon, hanggang kailan? Sabi niya, how long are you going to stand there doing nothing? Hmm? So, yun yung, ano niya, yung reklamo niya. Hanggang kailan ba? Hmm, hanggang kailan ba? Na, tatayo lang dyan. Na, walang gagawin. Ayan. So, ano yung una? Ano yung una? Yeah. The? The first is the? Ano? Opposition. Position. Then, ang second, ano yung second? An answered prayer. Yung pangatlo, failure. Yung bagang ginawa mo na lahat, ginawa mo na lahat, pero, parang kulang pa rin. Huh? Parang, ang hirap. Huh? Ang hirap. Kaya, minsan, we all stumble ng dahil niyan. No? Nai-stumble tayo. Huh? We can feel we are walking with the Lord quiet, happily, and then suddenly, we stumble. And there may be times when we fail to meet our own standards. Hmm? Yung sarili natin standards, nahirapan tayo na abutin. But, yung sabi niya, 
let alone God's. Ayun. So, like David, speak to God about all these challenges. Do not pretend that all is well. No? Huwag kang papretend na okay lang ako. Ano yan, no? Sabi nga pa nga, it is okay not to be okay. Speak from the depth of your heart. And siya, he will not be surprised or shocked by, by, by anything you say. It is this openness, vulnerability, and honesty hmm, that draws you into an intimate relationship with God. So, yung prayer niya, sabi niya, nag, nag prayer of thanksgiving. Oh Lord, thank you that you listened to the cries of my heart. Thank you that you rescue me and enable me to say, I will give you thanks in the great assembly. Among the throngs, I will praise you. So, may mga Bible kayo. Pwede nyo basahin sa ano, verse 18. So, yung una, diba? Ano yung una? Ano pa ngayon una? So, yung, ano yung una? You must be, have an openness, no? vulnerability, and obedience to God. Ganyan. So, the second ways to develop our intimacy with God is that we must grow in wisdom. So, so yun, grow in wisdom. In Luke uh, chapter 2, verse 41 to 52, uh, kung basahin natin, sa 41 to 52, ang sabi niya dito, so, basahin ko ha, sabi niya, Every year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the Passover festival. When Jesus was 12 years old, they attended the festival as usual. After the celebration was over, they started home to Nazareth. But Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. He, his parents didn't miss him at first because they assumed he was among the other travelers. But when he didn't show up that evening, they started looking for him among their relatives and friends. So, three days later, they finally discovered him in the temple sitting among the religious teachers, listening to them and asking questions. And asking questions. All who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. His parents didn't know what to think. Son, his mother said to him, Why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been front, frantic searching for you everywhere. But why did you need to search? He asked. Didn't you know that I must be in my father's house? But they didn't understand what he meant. meant. Then he returned to Nazareth with them and was obedient to them. And his mother stored all these things in her, in her heart. Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and all the people. So yun, no? So even as a child, Jesus has astonishing as wisdom. No? And all who heard him were astonished and overwhelmed with bewildered wa wonder at his intelligence and understanding and his replies. Ayun. So, as someone has said, knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is not putting it in a fruit salad. So, yun, di ba? Yung kalaman no, o yung knowledge, alam mo na yung, yung kamatis, yung tomato, ay isang prutas. Pero, binigyan ka ng wisdom na hindi mo ilalagay yun sa, isasali yun sa fruit salad. Yung naka, 
nakatry na ba kayo na nakakain kayo ng ano fruit salad na may kamatis or kamatis na fruit salad di ba yun yun so sabi niya knowledge is horizontal ayan but wisdom is vertical di ba so wisdom is vertical meaning it comes down from above Ayan. It is far more important to grow in wisdom than to grow in wealth. Wisdom outweighs wealth. Intimacy with the Father leads to growth in wisdom. So, after Jesus' parents find him in the temple courts, he says to them, Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? In verse 49b. Mm. Or, as the message translation puts it, dealing with the things of my father. Right? That's a message translation, the message Bible. Right? Dealing with the father. On the, on the one hand, Jesus' relationship with his father was unique. On the other hand, he also enables you to call God Father. He prayed to God as Abba. The Aramaic word used by children on intimate terms with their father. So, ayun, Aramaic word. When we are so very close with the, with the father, we call him Abba. And he taught his disciples too. No. Huh? To do the same. Verse 2. Verse 11. Uh, chapter 11, verse 2 in Luke. Uh, Luke chapter 2. Uh, Luke chapter 11 verse 2. So, St. Paul, writing about the Holy Spirit, uh, says, For you did not receive a spirit that makes you a slave again to fear, but you received the, the spirit of adoption. And by him we cry, Abba, Father. Uh, Romans 8, 15. So, we can learn four things about the wisdom that comes from intimacy with the Father by examining Jesus' example in these verses. So, first, wisdom, wisdom comes from listening. Wisdom is willingness to listen to and learn from others. Jesus was sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions in Luke chapter verse 46 huh? Sir Isaac Newton said I find intelligence is better spotted when analyzing the questions asked rather than the answers given so, often those who know those who know most speak less, less. when we are talking huh? when we are talking we are usually merely repeating what we already know. When we are listening, we may learn something new. Take note, guys. Take note. Huh? When we are talking, we are usually merely repeating what we already know. But when we are listening, we may learn something new. Okay? So, Asking good questions is the key to being a good conversationalist. It was said at, of President G.F. Kennedy that he made you think he had nothing else to do except ask your questions and listen with extraordinary concentration to your answer. He knew that for the time being, he had blotted out both the past and the future for you. And so, wisdom leads to simplicity. Wisdom brings clarity. Now, Jesus knew where he should be and what he should do. He declared, didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? So, knowledge leads us from the simple to the complex. The complex. Wisdom leads us from complex to the simple. 
No? So, wisdom is holistic. Wisdom is shown not only in what we say, but also in how we live. Then he went down to Nazareth with them and was obedient to them. Wisdom is about the whole of life rather than just our intellect or our words. So, wisdom should grow. Through his intimate relationship with God, Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favorite uh, in favor with God and people in verse uh, 52 a very similar description to that used of Samuel in in, in first Samuel chapter 2 verse 26 no? so ayun. so wisdom should grow as we get older no, not that not j that Jesus' wisdom was lewd or imperfect, but it grew as he matured, as it should with us. No? It should also with us. So, ayun, hindi lang na, hindi lang na, maiwan tayo na, diba? As we grow, dapat mag-grow din tayo in, in maturity. Ayun, in wisdom. So, this, uh, this is a prayer we often pray. No? Yung mga prayer na uh, pray natin for uh, insan kung yung mga parents natin, di ba? Yung mga kabataan. Uh, yun yung pinag-pray. That, yun. Or, yung tayo mga leaders, we pray for our disciples as one of our spiritual children. That, uh, what, are, what is our prayer? Uh, that they would grow in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and people. Again, so above all, uh, Jesus' wisdom came from his intimate relationship with God. No? God was his father. He knew he had to be in his father's house. And his intimacy with his father was the foundation of his wisdom. So, here's a prayer. No? Father, Thank you that you have given me the spirit of adoption by which I can cry, Abba, Father. Thank you that you call me into the same relationship of intimacy that Jesus has had with you. Hmm? Help me to grow in this relationship of intimacy, simplicity, and obedience. And to grow in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and people. So, ano yung una? Ano yung una? Uh, the first way is to, ano, back obedience, vulnerability, and, ano, obedience, vulnerability, and openness. No? Ayun. Yung second is, grow in wisdom. So, the third is, stand still and listen. So if you have a Bible with you, uh, open it in, uh, read it uh, in Numbers 7, Numbers uh, chapter 7, 66 to chapter 9, verse 14. Uh, sabi niya dito, now you cannot develop an intimate relationship with God without setting aside time to communicate with Him. Hindi mo develop yung Ano, yung intimate relationship mo sa Panginoon, if you have no, di ba? Uh, if, kung hindi ka nag-set ng time to communicate with Him. So, katulad nung ano, di ba? Pag yung friends natin, di ba? Pag hindi kayo nag-communicate, so hindi na develop yung yung inyong uh, intimate relationship. Yan. So, when Moses entered the tent of meeting to speak with the Lord, he heard the voice speaking to him, and he spoke with him. The Lord said to Moses, uh, anong sabi niya? Huh? God spoke to Moses. Uh, uh, the Lord said to Moses, that's in chapter 7, uh, chapter 7, 89 to chapter 8, verse 1 of Numbers. Then, 
God spoke to Moses in chapter 8, verse 1, 2, and chapter 9, verse 1. So, Moses spoke, spoke with God in chapter 7, verse 89. So, it was a two-way conversation. God speak to Moses face to face. As a person speaks with a friend in, in chapter 12, verse 8. Right? Taking, uh, talking and listening at the same time, watching for each other's reaction. So, mas maganda talaga yun, guys, na magkausap kayo in face to face. No? Wag yung, ano, para makita nyo yung reaction niya. Malungkot ba siya? Kasi ikaw, di ba? So, kung, ano, kita mo yung totoong ikaw. No? Wag kang mag-wear ng mask, no? Huwag kang susuot ng maskara. Para malaman naman niya na kung ano yung reaction mo. Ano yun, uh, kapatid, no? So, in the age of the Holy Spirit, you are in an even better position than Moses. Bakit? You no longer have to go to a particular place. No? Like Moses did, he go to Mount Sinai, no? particular place, but can be God wherever you are. So, you can be with God wherever you are. Kung saan ka man ngayon, kung isudyante ka, uh, you can be with God while nag-aaral ka, kung nasa, ka board, nasa boarding house ka, or you can be with God kung nasa abroad ka man ngayon. No? You can be with God anywhere. Hindi na pwede na ah, punta mo na yung place na yun. No? You can be with God Anywhere, anytime. Ayun. Diba? So, by the spirit of adoption, you are brought into an intimate and eternal conversation with God the Father. So, ayan. Makikita siya sa Romans chapter 8, 15 to 17, and chapter 26, uh, and verse, I mean, um, verse 26 to 27 in Romans. Diba? This was the pattern. Huh? This was the pattern. The Lord spoke to Moses. Yun yung una. The Lord spoke to Moses. The second is, Moses told the Israelites. Huh? Kung anong sina- yung sinabi ng Panginoon kay Moses, he share. Sinabi niya rin sa mga Israelites. Yan. The Israelites did everything just as the Lord commanded Moses. Yun. Diba? So, galing talaga sa Panginoon, then, no, sinabi ni Moses sa mga Israelites, then the Israelites did everything. Mga, kung ano yung inutos ng Panginoon kay Moses. Kung basahin nyo sa Numbers chapter 9, verse 1 to 5. Yan, so, the Israelites, no, Ano yun? The Israelites' whole way of life was built upon obedience to what God had said to Moses in the place of intimacy. Your intimacy with God needs to overflow into the way in which you live your life. And you need to put into practice the things that God shows you in the place of intimacy. There are times when it is not always clear how God is guiding us. Again, Moses' example is a good one. When the people asked Moses a difficult question to which he did, he did not know the answer. Ano yung reply niya? Wait until I find out what the Lord commands concerning you. Yun, di ba? So, hindi yung basta-basta ka na lang, no? Wait! So, ipa, mapapapractice pa rin natin itong waiting dito, guys. no? Wait until I find out what the Lord commands concerning you, concerning the Israelites. Ayan. So, if you don't know the right answer, it is wise to ask people to wait. No? So, ayun, kung Ikaw, uh, yung may apply natin dito sa 
kung may nanliligaw sa iyo, ganyan, no? Kung hindi mo pa alam, di ba? Hindi mo pa alam ang ano yung ano uh, right answer then, sabihan mo, wait, no? Huh? It's a wise to ask him or ask others to wait. Huh? This gives you time to pray and to find out from God the right way forward. Ayan. So, Eugene Peterson translates, Give me some time. I'll find out what God says in your circumstances. In verse 8. Huh? So, so the message. The Amplified Bible says, Stand still and I know, will hear what the Lord will command concerning you. So, in the business of life, stand still and listen to what God wants you to do. Ayan. So, stand still. Kung ano, ano yung pinagkakabisihan mo ngayon, no? stand still and listen to what God wants you to do. And so, let's, let us pray. Lord, Thank you that I can meet with you each day, anytime, anywhere. Speak with you and listen to you anytime, anywhere. Help me to hear what you are saying to me and to live today in this relationship of intimacy, simplicity, and obedience. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So, yun guys, I hope na may natutunan kayo na aral ngayon no? sa ating aralin about developing intimacy with God. So, if first time nyo pa na napanood itong uh, video ito, so, uh, please uh, click the subscribe button, button and also uh, the bell button. So, para ma-update kayo for sa mga next na uh, kung gusto nyo pa. No? So, kung may mga natutunan kayo, uh, you may uh, comment to the comment box. No? Ayun. Comment lang sa comment box. Then, uh, and guys, no? and also, kung mayroon kayo mga friend na nangangailangan ng ano mga comfort don't don't be shy to share this to them hmm? you can share this to them also so uh, sharing is what sharing is caring no? if you care your friends then share it to them so we are here to to share to care to share and care to develop intimacy, intimate relationship with God. So, for more updates, uh, ayun lang, so, have a blessed day, and see you to, na, to, my, to the next video.